Hello, I'm Paul Fu, lead narrative designer of Skull and Bones, the pirate game that we are developing right here in Ubisoft Singapore. Centuries ago, the Portuguese, Dutch and English had fought for control over the area around Singapore and the Indian Ocean. As such, the history of the region is rich in seafaring and piracy. Many of our developers come from families who live here for generations. So this history is an important part of their heritage. Let's meet some of them and hear their pirate stories that connect their personal histories to the world of Skull and Bones. Working on Skull and Bones, I get to learn about the history of my country. I'm from Mauritius, an island located in the Indian Ocean, near Madagascar, Seychelles and Reunion. Mauritius was highly desired due to its prime location as a stopover for trade routes. In the 1700s, Mauritius was well known to be a hub for piracy. Growing up in Mauritius, my grandparents would tell me stories about very famous pirates such as Edward England and Labuse. So Edward England was famous for the Battle of Joanna Island, uh, but he was considered too lenient by his crew and was ultimately uh, marooned on the island of Mauritius. Uh, eventually, he managed to steal a ship and flee to the island of Madagascar. Working on Skull and Bones made me more interested in the Bugis and my heritage. The most interesting pirates closest to Singapore are the Bugis. They were mostly sailors and traders. Just because they do not have a license, they were deemed as pirates. My great-grandfather is Bugis. He used to travel with royal family. He passed down a craze to my grandfather and to me. So he would have the craze tucked under his belt for close quarter combat. He would soak the blade in poison and the edge of the craze is uh, chipped. So I guess it's been well used. <laughs> Those were just a few of the many stories that have inspired us as we work on the game. We can't wait for you to play Skull and Bones and experience your own pirate stories. Join the discussion on Twitter, Discord and our forums and let us know what you think.